you've uh, you missed a bit. <gasps> this is so messed up. Uh, you've not finished yet. Hmm, talk about the prodigal husband. We're the ones who've kept the home fires burning. Oh, here we go. Adam was seriously ill. Yeah, that was then. I've seen the latest emails he's sent you. Art house cinema trips. French. Didn't he go to Calgary? For the weekend. It was a family wedding. Yeah, and we've been... Oh, to the foot of our stairs. So I'll pick you up at five. Five? I'll still be at the hairdressers. Well, when then? No later than 5.30. You and Amy are coming to the airport, yeah? Little banner, welcome home, grandad. No space. Mam, dad, and the elephant in the room. Tracy. There are things they need to talk about. Anybody in? Hi, up. You've been to court. Cheeky. It's taking me for brunch. Ooh, brunch. What's up, Todd? Brunch so last year. Ignore him. He's only whinging because I'm the one who had a brainwave. Thousand? Full colour? For half the price it would have cost an art printer. Wow. Yeah, word of mouth costs nothing. That's how I get my work, Liz. Recommendations. Not all of it, though, surely. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, he did get me a single mother with a dripping tap who did pay a bill. Oh. There's Lloyd. He's... Well, he's been a bit down, so... I won't be long. What's the harm in drumming up business? None. Kick the ladder break and still learning the ropes. Dad, every penny counts. With a business this size, we have no room for passengers. You take a man's wage, you do a man's job. You can't go out in your slippers. Why? Well, it might rain or uh, there might be glass on the pavement. Walk round it. And what if a policeman sees you? He might put you in jail. He'll probably throw away the key. Kylie, his head's full of enough rubbish as it is. Great, thank you. Thanks, bye. Yes, we're in. Ten past five with Dr Gadas, but we've got to take him with us. It's good they could fit you in. Ugh, it'll be a waste of time. <gasps> Max! Oh, what? No, no, your head's full of rubbish. Right, where's that policeman? Sorry. I just washed it. Well, it'll brush out. You'll be fine. It'll be OK. <laughs> and will the doctor have a tablet for that? I don't think so. Oh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, what's the alternative? We just let him carry on like this. I mean, all we can do is try. Yeah. Come on, big girl. <sighs> Max, you get down here now and apologise. Like any normal child. Pack, pack up, will you, whistling? PMA, son. Positive mental... Yeah, I know, I know what PMA stands for. Well, you should try it sometime. Look at you. What have you got to be positive about, eh? Well, apart from sharing my pad with Manchester's answer to Oliver Reed... Two. Visitors. <laughs> the governor and the grandson, Jared. He's a whiz with the old Minecraft. You should see the world's is built. It's no wonder you're knackered. You were fighting dragons in your sleep. Who's Tina? What are you? Are you witness for the prosecution? Tell you what, oh, hey. oh, oh, it's called conversation, numpty. Right. You had no visitors today. I'll tell you what, that's where them criminal masterminds went wrong with you. They should have had you as a lookout. No substitute for family when you're bound up. Well, that depends on your family. This is for you. Well, could be worth a mint in years to come. <laughs> no pictures from your lad? No. You can take pride too far. He'll be missing you as much as you're missing him. Do you want to bet? Probably more. At least you can make sense of it. No. Go on, give it a try. Get, get, the, get the missus to bring him along. Ex-missus. Whatever. Get it smart to bring him in if you don't like the place. Hard lines. But at least you'll have seen him once. What's the point? They all think I'm guilty. All of them? Yeah, even my dad. The great man of letters. Not even so much as a postcard. Hey, I like this, though. Tell Jared thanks. Put it pride of place. going to the doctors. I'm not even sick. We're just going to have a little chat. 
Yeah, so go and brush your hair, Paul. Put some of that hair gel in if you like. We're going to give him a complex. And you know what they'll say? The answer's right here. I made bad choices. I picked his dad. Yeah, and then you picked me. Not that I gave you much choice. Look, we need to sort this out now, Kyla. We can't wait until he's a teenager. Or else it won't just be the naughty step. It'll be the police. All cops. right, all right. Yeah, well, I know you don't like talking about it, but we're bound to ask. Max's dad? I mean, I, I used to think it was none of my business, but... I want this Dr Gadass to know. We're both really solid on this, and... Well, I can't be if I only know half the story. His name was Callum Logan. Ring any bells? You were a bad lad. Gorgeous, obviously. Obviously. Big mouth, scared of no. All that guff. When I got pregnant, it was like the cock of the walk. Parading me round. Once I got fat and started puking, well... I had nobody with me in the labour ward. The way they look at you. And every time the door went, I thought it were him. Teddy in one hand, flowers in the other. He never came near? He did turn up eventually. Push the pram round for a bit. Max's hair were purest white. People used to stop us in the street. Novelty soon wore off, though. Callum went out one day and... Uh... Never came back. After that, it would drink. Disaster. Yada, yada. Turned going out to report someone night and there he was. Fisher's assault on a judge. They threw the book at him. He wouldn't have cared. So what, he's inside, he's out? I don't know. Depends if he behaved himself or not. First batch of leaflets delivered. <clears throat> Good to hear. So, what's the system? Um, open letterbox, push paper through. <laughs> Where you've leafleted, who you've cold called, who you've followed up. All that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. Persistence is good. But when you start pestering... Uh, persistence is my middle name. That's why you are taken on board. Yeah. What well, can you remind Jason? Remind him yourself. Results. Doesn't matter how you get them, just get them. There's a house on Crimea Street, um, mm -hmm. number 56. I'll take at least five loose tiles. It's a start, but you're going to have to think bigger. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. I was just going to go and follow it up now. Oh, uh, what do you think of the tie and the clipboard? It's just little touches, but they say we mean business. Let's hope the punters think so. All the time sheets in for the school runs? On there. And your bookings for tonight. Mm. And did you sprinkle all your calls with stardust like you are doing for me now? There's no mention of stardust in my contract. But it's in small print. Ask Lloyd. Lloyd, tell him. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I was just passing and I wondered, how would you feel about promoting a dynamic young company in your cabs? What dynamic young comp? In return for discounted building and maintenance work. What a great idea. Mm. Leave us in cabs, forget it. Yeah, but just you, you have a little think. If I do it for one, I'd have to do it for all of them. Before I know it, every drive will be pushing his cousins, brothers, uncles, garage, car wash, poodle uh, parlour. Not, not necessarily. They'll end up in the bin or on the floor. You sure you don't want to discuss it first with Steve, yeah? Is there an echo in here? No. Oh. It's never changes. Oh, hi. Ken! Ah! Oh, 
Careful, no? Careful, you crazy. No. Oh, okay. oh, at last. Oh. Can you believe it? How long have you been standing here? Come on, let's get you in. OK, are you, uh, you're coming in? No, no, they've got work to do, haven't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, you'll be shattered. Yeah, we'll leave you to it. I just want to say, Ken, I'm so sorry about Peter. I mean, it must have been a terrible shock, especially long distance. Oh, I'm all the fingers and thumbs up. Uh, shock? No, I'm not too sure. It was probably inevitable. Really? A oh, confirmed alcoholic like him. If I'm honest, I've been expecting the call for years. Uh, listen, if you don't mind, let's... Come on, yeah, come on. I just wanted to say that we're thinking of you, all of you, and... And then. If you don't mind, come on, okay. let's get you in. What happened? We were expecting to be you from the airport. Come on. Oh. Jet lag. Mm -hmm. Oh. Allergies. Uh, Max Turner. Oh, my goodness. That's what it's there for. Get you all spontaneous in your old age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's wrong with wanting to surprise you? Ken? Oh? Well, we have you to thank for the 50-inch surround sound. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a real beauty, that one. Hey, she's great for the old wildlife programmes. Right, let me guess. Your first proper cup of tea. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you miss most. Your mother or her Lancashire blend strong enough to stand a spoon in. Actually, it's Fresh Goes Value. I just keep topping the box up, but he's none the wiser. And is that another little surprise uh, I see? Yeah. Now, why isn't Amy with you? Uh, that's for her. That's for you. Ooh. And, uh, that's for you. Thank you. Really large bottle of Chanel. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Ah. Maple syrup. Toronto's finest. <laughs> not Chanel. No. <laughs> and not Canada's finest cognac either. Oh, well, never mind, Tracy. We really liven our bacon eggs up with this. Well, that brings me to my next revelation. I've done a lot of thinking while I've been away, and I have become a... Homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> a vegetarian. Oh, have you? Oh, well, good for you. Um, I, I'll just, um... Excuse me? <laughs> when you come with Amy, I've got some photographs to show you. And we think the Lake District's impressive. Vegetarian? Well, do you think he's in denial? You know, I thought he'd be bouncing off the walls, or at least phoned our local MP. Mum, you've not told him yet, have you? Do you know I'm gasping for the pain? The dust in that cell, then the masters don't cut it, Paul. Sorry, that beer will have to wait. Emergency roofing job. Hey, you start soon. Do you pull your finger out? Crimea Street, number 56. Decent money, too. Here's what needs doing. There's what needs loading in the van. Mrs. Gilbert, nice lady. She's expecting you. Right? Now, what have I got I can put in this? Peppers. Peppers. I can fry up some peppers and onions and, um, Mom, I can... Mom, look at you. You're griddling while Rome burns. I'll tell him. I'll tell him if you're too chicken. It's not because I'm scared. I just don't want to be the one who breaks his heart. So, uh, what did you find to do there? Well, for the first six months, I just sat at the bedside, reading, listening to podcasts. You know, on a good day, we were allowed to drive out. Sounds like a lonely life. Yeah. Um, I'll get it. it. Wouldn't have suited everybody, that's for sure. But later on, once he was home... <laughs> <laughs> He's back! Maria said you were like Usain Bolt when you saw him. You, you can't come in, I'm afraid, Audrey. He's, he's unpacking, unwinding. No, just two minutes, just to say hello, welcome home. Why don't you come back tomorrow when he's caught his breath? Sorry, Audrey. <laughs> you didn't perform. Well, I did attend the old poetry session, started writing my own. You missed it, Tracy. Chance to prick my pomposity. Oh, no, poetry's cool. Well, it's better than poetry anyway, as long as you don't inflict it on us. Right, I think we should be going. Oh, who was that? Not Peter. Ah, uh, uh, not Peter, no. But I'm going to give him a ring. 
Tell them to bring Simon round. <laughs> What's going on? It's obviously something. Uh, so, are you going to fetch Amy? Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see her. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring her round later. Not too late. Your mother's done a party tea. <laughs> I mean, I like that. I loved her. I've got me dignity. Mm, one spitten. Bitten, and chewed up and spat out again, mate. I suppose I should count myself lucky. Mine was just a light mauling. Excuse me one minute. Well, I know Deirdre can be clicked. I mean, she gets that from her mother. She was all breathless and sorry. She didn't sound sorry to me. Well, her husband has been away for a year, and then you knock on the door. Within minutes. Hmm. <clears throat> you disturbed a welcome in the hill, And a welcome in the veil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Mm. There have been a few issues at school and at home. The airport run. Max gets overexcited. Well, they don't want him labelled, you know, give a dog a bad name. And hang him. Well, you know how that goes, of course. We've not come in for a drink. Well, what have you come in for? I tell you what, you could have the jukebox for 300. Yeah, pence, maybe. The guy coming here this afternoon played ACDC back to back six times. His head wasn't the only head that was banging. Uh, they call it the hospitality industry. Is Amy ready? I doubt it. She had three outfits on up to now. Only the best for Grandad Ken. Yeah, well, uh, Grandad Ken is a little bit tied up at the moment. We'll probably take her for a burger. Mm -hmm. I know my dad looks well. He looks amazing. But he's not a young man. Out of the blue like this, with no warning, this is going to hit him like a juggernaut. Rob, what if he can't cope? I'm sorry, love. Ken. That should have been Brandy. It was thinking about what you ought to have rather than what you might want. <laughs> Not the best start. In the great scheme of things. Listen, I missed you so much. Ken. Oh? Am I not allowed to kiss you? Well, we're not the only ones living here. Oh, yeah, Rob. May I be honest? I don't trust him. Well, no, did I at first, but he's been good to me at a time when I really needed it. Ah, you think I abandoned you? Oh, no, this is not about me. No, no, please, please, love. I've had a lot of time to think this through. Does she want to get out? No. He's a victim of your own success. He's so steady, so loyal, and I'm taking you for granted. I know that whatever life throws at you, you'll always cope. No, I'm sorry, she's driving me mad. Can you let her? Yeah, fine, fine. Oh, here you go, Eccles. Oh, who's left that? Oh, come on. Eccles, no, come back. I've only got my slippers on. Oh, oh God, come back, you silly dog. What do you expect? You give us an appointment at ten past and keep us hanging on till half past. Of course the kid's gonna get bored. If he's annoyed your receptionist, she needs to arrange your appointments better. Look, the truth is, Max is permanently in trouble. I mean, at school, at home, I mean, even in a taxi the other day. It's like he's got bundles of energy. I don't want him like some cabbage in the corner. No, I know, but he doesn't even know how to channel it. You ask him to do something, you have to ask him again and again. I mean, we thought it were his ears at first. Selective deafness. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, he just doesn't think. Not like a kid his age should be doing. I mean, only the other day, right, I was making a stew. So in he walks and puts his hand in the pan, like a hot pan. He's grabbed a spud straight out. I mean, he nearly scolded himself. But he won't spare the time to go over to a kitchen drawer to get a spoon. Wait for it to cool down. You get me? He didn't have the best start in life. No, oh, there were... Bonding problems. His dad were a bit wild. Didn't stick around for long. And you think this could be at the root? But well, I'm asking you if it could be. Well, it's possible. It's also possible it could just be a medical condition, pure and simple. Some people attribute it to environmental factors. Diet, poor sleep. What sleep? He's up and down at least ten times a night. But these symptoms you describe, difficulty focusing, 
impulsivity, insensitivity, getting by without much sleep. That can indicate a condition called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. Great. So is ahead the ball. Carla? Ken, I, I didn't know you were back. Oh, only just. I'm glad I've seen you. Sure about that? Well, I wondered about ringing, writing, but uh, I didn't know how a letter would be received. Deirdre said you were very definite. About? Split. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to ask. The speed of the turnaround. Are you sure you tried your best to keep that marriage afloat? <laughs> oh, look, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound judgmental. It, it, it's because I respect you. You were always so on top of Peter's drinking. And then suddenly, overnight, finished. Support withdrawn. Well, and you, you think Peter deserves better? Well, yes. <laughs> I don't know what Deirdre's told you, but, but it is way off the mark. I mean, like, different planet. I didn't mean to offend you. What exactly has Deirdre told you? Well, Peter had a relapse and you split up. That's it. You know, I talked to Deirdre. I've been talking to Deirdre daily. But it seems I'm still in the dark. Look, whatever it is that I should know, I want to hear it now from you. OK. I'm going to need a stiff drink first. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.